It's impossible to imagine a time without video games. From the Atari to the Wii, there's a great history in gaming consoles. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to emulate most major gaming consoles on one computer. For the links used in this video, please click on the URL in the video description. The first gaming console I'm going to show you how to emulate is the Atari 2600. And I chose the 2600 because it has the most games available for it. So if you go to AtariAge.com and click on the 2600 from the menu, you'll see a link for emulation. And uh, for the emulator, I'm going to use one called Stella. This is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And, uh, it allows you to emulate the Atari gaming console. And if you go back to Atari Age on that emulation page, it also has a list of different ROMs, which are uh, the games that are compatible with, uh, with the emulator. And if you're downloading any of these, um, I'm assuming for legal reasons that you already own a copy of it and you're just using this as a backup. And that also goes for the rest of these gaming consoles and games that I'm going to be showing you. So this is what Pac-Man looks like in Atari, and this is another one of my favorite old Atari games, Frogger, which I can't really find anywhere else. It's definitely a classic. And the next gaming console I'm going to show you is the Nintendo Entertainment System. And for this we're going to go to emulator-zone.com and choose Nintendo Entertainment System from the left hand menu. And it's going to show you a bunch of different emulators. And I'm going to be using the Virtual NES emulator. I just downloaded and installed it. And if you go to File and Open, you uh, just like the Atari emulator, you can select different ROMs to play. And if you go to Option, uh, the option from the menu, you can adjust the size to make it full screen or just make it a little bit larger. And uh, if you have a, a USB controller, you can, should be able to use that with this, or you can just use the keyboard. If you go to Option Controller, you can adjust uh, what the different keys represent and do within the game. And to find games, you can go to NitroROMs.com and click on ROMs from the uh, top menu. And it has a, a whole bunch of different uh, uh, gaming system, the gaming systems that you can download ROMs and games for. So we're going to be using uh, this website for pretty much the rest of the gaming consoles that I'm going to show you. The next video game console is the N64, and uh, just click on N64 from the emulator, emulation zone uh, menu, and I'm going to be downloading the Project 64. Uh, emulator and I've just installed it and if you go to file and open just like before you can uh, down you can play the ROMs that you've downloaded so this is Super Smash Brothers and this is what it looks like and how it plays so for the rest of these there's the Nintendo DS Game Boy that it's all pretty much the exact same method just download the emulator and then download some of the ROMs assuming that you already have ownership of these games in real life. The next gaming console I'm going to show you is the PlayStation 2 and this is different because you have to have a BIOS from a real PlayStation 2 uh, in order it, for it to work. So if you go to emulatorzone.com and uh, uh, download the emulator just uh, save it and extract it to your desktop and that'll create an emulation folder. The next thing you want to do is download a program called ISODisk. Just do a Google search for it to get to their main web page and download and install it to your computer. And what this does is it rips uh, the uh, PS2 game CDs to an ISO format so that you can use it for your emulator. So I'm ripping Grand Theft Auto Vice City right now. Um, now if you go to NitroROMs.com, I don't really recommend doing this, but they do have a BIOS version. If you uh, sort the ROMs by file size, it will be the smallest one. Now this isn't really legal to do that, but I'm just showing you for testing purposes if you need to test. Otherwise, you'll need to uh, uh, just click on the link in the video description and I'll show you how to get the BIOS from your PlayStation 2. Then just put the BIOS information in the BIOS folder uh, that's included with the emulator files and then just run the emulator and you may get an error message the first time that takes you to this screen 
And for the CD DVD ROM, you want to change that to Linus ISO. And then click on set the BIOS directory and uh, just navigate to where your BIOS is. And then choose your BIOS and click OK. And that should launch this page. And you want to go to config and CD DVD. And then just choose the ISO that you ripped to your computer. And then click OK. Then just go to File, Run, CD, DVD, and it should start playing the game uh, that you selected. And this requires a pretty intense graphics card in order for it to play right, so just uh, uh, be aware of that. The next console I'm going to show you is the Nintendo Wii, and it's a similar process as the PS2 in that you have to rip the game before you play it. But before you start ripping your game, head over to dolphin-emu.com, which is the emulator we're going to be using, and check the compatibility list to make sure your game is on there. And this also works for the GameCube as well. And uh, then just click on downloads if you find the game, find that your game is compatible, and uh, start downloading the the Dolphin emulator and save it to your desktop. Then uh, go ahead and rip your game using the ISO disk the same way that we did for the PS2, and then launch the Dolphin emulator and navigate to the game that you ripped, and it should start playing it. And you might get a couple errors at first, but it should play it all right. Um, I wasn't able to test the Xbox because I don't have an Xbox, but you'll find details on how to emulate an Xbox in the link in the video description. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.